The new Camtasia update is now available. I'm gonna share with you everything you need to know. And if you're not familiar with what Camtasia is, it is an easy to use video editing software and the industry leading screen recorder. In other words, it is the best screen recording software out there. In fact, I've been using Camtasia since I started my YouTube channel back in 2014 and I've tried everything. Camtasia is as good as it gets. So if you're not familiar with it, I'll put a link down in the description below where you can check it out for yourself. For everybody else, let's get into the updates. The first update is a huge quality of life update. You can now fully customize your navigation. So let's say that you wanna move the animations or audio effects or cursor effects to the top, just drag and drop, boom. Next, you know how when you watch some YouTube videos, how they have text pop up on the screen or other things pop up on the screen and they just kinda wiggle around a little bit? Normally that requires detailed keyframing or plugins, not anymore. You can now just drag and drop the wiggle or tremble behaviors in Camtasia and it'll do it for you. Just like this. Pretty neat, huh? And that's fully customizable, by the way. They've added 19 new transitions, for example, the accordion, angled sliders, and many more. They've also added some color-based transitions like the color spin door, color wipe, and the full color iris, just to name a few. And the best part about the color-based transitions is that you can fully customize all the colors to make it look however you want. Now, something everybody's been waiting for, and really, it's about time that they added this. Camtasia now offers dynamic captions, so you can add interesting looking captions directly onto parts of your video or the entire thing if you like. The captions come in many styles and they're customizable, so you can make them match your other video graphics if that's important to you. If you need to edit a word, they make it easy with their word editor. Just click the word, make the change, and you're good to go. As a workflow improvement, you can now right click a clip in your media bin and import that clip into Camtasia Rev. The cool thing about this is that it's a quick way to crop for certain ratios, effects, and you can customize the backgrounds of the crop and the whole layout in general. As a side note, they also updated the back end of Camtasia. So now on a Mac computer or on a Windows computer, it runs a lot smoother. I think they called this the performance engine. They also added a tiling feature, which is really cool, where you can add a single logo or other image and it'll make copies of it to create a grid. This is great for creating custom branded graphics to use in all of your videos. And if you combine the tiling with the wiggle effect or some of the other effects that they have in here, you can actually make some really cool looking stuff. There's a new cursor effect available, so you can make your cursor glow. You can add an outline to any text that you add. This is great for making sure that the text is readable, even on busy or similar color backgrounds. They have added audio visualizers to the asset library that are also customizable. These are great for someone who podcasts or if you have a moment in your video where you wanna use this track for your voice or something like that, you can do that too. With the audio visualizers, you can change the color, the speed, the depth, all of it. They've also added 57 new dynamic backgrounds for when you're putting text on the screen or if you wanna frame something and then have something going on in the background. If you need a little bit of creativity in your videos, they added a reversed video effect, which can be fun. This part isn't new, but just in case you didn't know, Camtasia also added a background removal. So what you can do is you can drop in your video footage and you can remove the background if you're sitting here talking and you can put graphics behind you or text behind you or anything creative that you wanna do. And really quick, if you're not already a Camtasia user and you're thinking to yourself, this seems pretty cool, but I wonder what other features that it has and I wonder how smooth it would be on my computer and things like that, I recommend that you go install the free trial. It doesn't cost you anything. All you have to do is download the software, put it in and take it for trial run for yourself and see if it's a good fit for you. I'll put a link to it down in the description so you can give it a shot. And hey, if you want to see more cool tools for content creators, make sure you click into this playlist right here because I've got even more for you. Go ahead and click into that now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.